Dave Smith here. Start again. Hi, Dave Smith here. Okay, you hear the ticking of my stopwatch because remember I have trouble with the um, 20 minute time limit on this thing. Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about uh, getting your film uh, into the dark tank. Now, we've so far been through an overview of the camera and the equipment you'll need. We've looked at making sure your camera is uh, light sealed. We've loaded film into your camera. We have talked at a very basic level about uh, exposure. There's a lot more to talk about there. And we've talked about unloading your camera. So you've got your exposed film and you're ready for developing. So now we have to get it into this dark tank. So we are coming to the end now of the uh, sort of level one uh, series in this uh, in this video uh, workshop. We'll then move on to level two, and there'll be several more levels uh, beyond that. We've, there's a lot to kind of unravel in terms of photography. Okay, so you remember that uh, my films look like this uh, because I roll my own uh, cassettes. Uh, I, we haven't talked about doing that yet. I would say that's a, a somewhat more advanced um, section of this series of videos, but we will get to it. A bit more investment in, uh, involved in that, so I, I didn't want to start you at that point. So your films are likely to look something like this. Um, you come in a metal canister. They'll have crimped ends, so they're good and light tight. And if you have followed the uh, unloading of the, f of the exposed film and you have unwound it carefully, sorry, rewound it carefully so that when the tension changes, your leader is still out, then um, you'll be good to go. If you wound too far and this leader has gone into the cassette, then you're going to have to get this cassette open. Now with the metal canisters, that's quite tricky. And a little trick uh, to do is you see where this film comes out, there's a, like a, two pieces of felt to prevent light getting in, of course. So if you've wound this all the way in, take a butter knife and just gently put the blade between those two pieces of felt and twist. And that will force the canister to open and you'll be able to peel these crimped ends off and get your film out. Okay, so that's just a little tip. If you can, it's going to be much easier for you to leave the leader out. And then what you do is uh, you're going to cut off this tongue bit here. So it's square straight across the film with a pair of scissors uh, inside your dark bag. And well, you can, I mean, you can cut that, you can pull that out a bit and cut that off outside. Um, so that the end of your film is squared off like this, okay? That is gonna that is gonna matter really. So that's that's uh, that's gonna be the first stage. Let me just put this back in its box, uh, like so. Okay, so you've got your film, and remember, oops, all of this is gonna have to take place in total darkness. Now I've got um, I'll do that later. <laughs> I've got a room under the stairs, a little cupboard under the stairs here that I could do this in. Uh, has to be total darkness, so you go if you've got such a room. Uh, so what I could do, for example, is it's night time here now, so I could turn out all the lights, go into that cupboard there, close the door, and hold my hand up, give it two or three minutes just inside, and hold my hand. In front. If I can't see my hand, it's dark enough to open the film in there. Okay. If I can see my hand, there's a little leakage of light from somewhere and you might want to put something along the bottom of the door, for example, to make sure nothing's leaking in. Um, what I do, of course, is use this dark bag. And I think I talked about the dark bags when we did the overview. So my dark bag, this particular one, I do have another one, which is, this one's a nice heavy cotton one. My other is a nylon one. And uh, the other one has, two zips going in opposite directions. So you see this has got a liner, it's got an outside, it's all dark, and so that's gonna be good and light tight. 
uh, everything goes in there scissors as well you're going to want those and then you've got elasticated cuffs at this end uh, inside and out so that you can be sure that once your hands have gone in here no light is getting in there at all and you can open your film canister now <coughs> excuse me if you have got your leader out and you've cut it across square then what you're going to want to do is pull out a length now i've got um i've got the end of a hundred foot roll here uh, after uh, after i rolled a bunch of these so if you imagine that's that's where we've cut the leader off i've inside my dark bag i've pulled the canister down and i've got this much out and that's ready to load now let's put that to one side for a minute I use these uh, Patterson reels and I also have in this tank a different type of reel, this type, and you see uh, this one looks like this, the Patterson ones look like that, okay. This reel is called an AP reel. AP is a Spanish company and they're imported by uh, First Call Photographic uh, down in Taunton. Um, so we're, we're going to come back to that in just a moment. So let me put that out of the way. Uh, now I've used Patterson reels for about 30 years, never had a problem. I have been aware that other people do talk about uh, the Patterson reels jamming on them. But I've never had that trouble until I came across these two reels right here. Now these are, these are brand new reels, never used them. And they came with one of my tanks. Uh, I have a one reel tank, a two reel tank, I have a five reel tank and an eight reel tank. And these two things came with one of those tanks. And uh, I, happened, I happened to pick uh, one of these out. Uh, I've got something like 10 reels and I happened to pick one of these out when I unloaded my first film from this for this series and it jammed. It's the first time I've ever had that and I tried several times to get <clears throat> to get the reel onto there and it just wouldn't go and in the end it buckled the film. Now we want to avoid that um, because where it buckles it's ruined your frames. So if you are having trouble with your reels, then there are one or two things you can try. Um, you're going to notice it when you start trying to load. So unless you've got a spare um, roll of film that you're happy to take out of the tank in the light to practice, and I would strongly suggest that you do that, um, <clears throat> it's a waste of a few pounds in a, on a roll of film, but getting some practice will be a good idea in the light before you put your exposed film in. But if you don't do that and you put your exposed film in and it jams on you, uh, then you have to, you either have to try and roll it back into the canister or, and not too far, remember, you're still gonna need to leave a little bit out so you can pull it back. Put it back into the canister, put that canister to one side and get a new reel. If you feel that you have to get a new reel, get one of these AP reels, they tend to be more reliable I understand from the forums and then the Pattersons, although I've never had a problem until now. Okay, so, but if you've opened your expose reel and you can't get it back into the canister for whatever reason, uh, and you can't get it onto the reel, you're just gonna have to take a deep sigh, chalk it up to experience, ruin that roll of film, and use it for practice. Okay, now likelihood is you won't have a problem. So don't let it panic you. Um, and I'm going to show you uh, what I did with these uh, just a little bit later. As I say, I ended up buckling the, a film, so these will just go in a cupboard and never get used. Uh, I've since tested these other rolls, because you know, I just presume these will be fine, because that's my experience. Um, I've tested these other rolls now, and they all seem fine. Okay, so... Let's get back to uh, loading it up. So we've got our film, uh, it's in the dark bag. We've, we've got hold of the leader end and we've pulled the canister out some distance, not the whole distance, just some distance. 
And now what we do, in the dark, remember, I use my fingers to feel for these ledges here to make sure that they are together. I don't want them offset like this. So I just make sure that they're both in the same spot. And then I take my film, use my fingers, feeling for that edge there, and I use my fingers to guide the film uh, onto the reel like so. When I hit the ball bearings, just pull it a little way past, and then what you're going to do, now I usually do this with the film facing me, just rock that backwards and forwards like so, and the ball bearings will pull the film on. I'll turn it around so you can see, and you see the ball bearings, and that's moving really smoothly, and that's, that's how I've always known uh, Patterson films, uh, Patterson reels to function. I'll show you one of those others in just a moment. You just keep going and then I have my two fingers here and I can feel when the reel comes to there. And when the reel comes, I just hold the film and pull some more out and roll it on. When I feel the film again, pull some more out and roll it on. When I get to the end of the reel, I roll it on until the reel is almost there. Then I cut across at the, at the reel, all right? So at that, at that position there, I use my scissors and just cut across, trying not to cut the tips of my fingers off. Then just finally finish rolling on like so, and I can sort of feel with my fingers where that film is. That's fully loaded now, and that would go onto its spindle, into the dark tank, uh, lid on, screwed on, and I can now take that out of the dark bag and that's completely light tight. Okay, so that's, that's it, that's all there is to it. If you're using one of these AP reels, then uh, you, feel, you can feel here that this, there's a gap here, there's no gap here, all right? So that's the front side and you're going to feed your film in there and it rocks on just the same way as the Patterson reel. Okay, so that's, that's what you're going to do uh, for that. Now let's just, I'm just going to take this film back out and we'll see how we're doing for time here. Okay, a couple more minutes. Now, um, we'll go through this bit again uh, when we when we develop this, but when you have everything done and you just want to pinch that and that just rolls off neatly, okay? Now, before I use that one, let's go to one of these. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna use this very short length just to show you on here. I'm just going to feed that in uh, up to, and that's already going wrong. up to uh, the ball bearings and I'm just going to pull it past those ball bearings slightly and then rock it backwards and forwards like so. Oh, see what I mean? Already going wrong. Let's try one more. Push that just past those ball bearings. It's not going well, is it? There we go. And right there, I can feel that's jammed, okay? And if I try to force that, uh, now just by, yeah, it's just jamming right there, okay? So I'm gonna take that off, and I'm gonna do that again with this longer piece so we can see what's, uh, what's going on. So, and you hear that one squeaking. This one didn't squeak at all. So I feed that through, past the ball bearings, rock that back and forth. And this feels tight to me as I'm going. And you hear that? And that's... <laughs> okay, as luck would have it, it's gone on uh, neatly. Uh, but you can hear that squeaking as it's going, and it feels very stiff to me. And once, just once or twice there, uh, it's not, and it's not even kind of coming off the reel very, 
easily either. Uh, so that's all very that's all very tight really. Um, so let me try this other one. There we go. Just check my time. A couple of minutes. Let's try one more with this. And right there it's jammed. Okay. Now, what I'm finding Okay, so what I would now do is uh, accept that that's not going to go on and you see that's that's just all too stiff and it's causing my film to to buckle. So I'd take it off, right, if this is in the dark bag and I'm having trouble loading it, I'd take it off and I'd have one, one more go, maybe two more goes and I'm just going to, yeah. So that's that's jamming up pretty solidly. And there's not a lot I can do about that. There we go. All right, so I'm pulling outwards on that to reduce the pressure. And I'm just kind of trying to move that very, very slightly um, to baby that film around, giving it some outwards pressure so that it's not gonna jam on me. So I think, okay, so quite a bit of outward pressure. And I think I'm gonna get that film on there. Now remember this, was, this is only about a third of a roll that I've got here. So you would have quite a bit more to go. But I think I would be able to get a whole a whole film on there uh, by pulling outwards and going very gently. Whereas with this one, because it's nice and loose, I could go. You hear those stops? I could go that whole distance. With that one, I'm just going very very small, very very small movements with quite a lot of outward pressure to, to reduce the, the tension and I'm managing to baby it on. So if, you, if you're stuck, if you've got, if that's the reel you've got, you've got your exposed film inside that dark bag, you've, it's, out, it's out of... Okay, I'm gonna stop this and restart. Okay, here we are back again. Gosh, I'm getting tangled up in the wires here. Right. Oh my word. Okay, so um, as I was saying, if you're stuck, if your if your reel turns out to be uh, squeaky and tight and it's not behaving itself, and you're stuck in that, you've got everything's out of the cassette, you can't get it back in, uh, and it's either going to ruin the film or um, or you're going to have to get it on that reel, then uh, that's that's the routine. Okay. Be prepared to take it off a couple of times. Be prepared to retry and uh, just very, very slight movements, lots of outward pressure. And I think you'll be able to get it on maybe after two or three tries. If you really can't and it's really gonna ruin the film, just accept it. Take the film out, uh, cut it off the, re off the cassette and use it as, like I did with, uh, with this, use it as a practice uh, piece in the light okay and get yourself a new reel if you're getting a new reel get one of the AP style from uh, first call photographic be careful with first call photographic their um, shipping costs are huge it's uh, eight pounds I think uh, is where they start at so make sure that you know wait until you're getting a few things from them maybe some uh, developer and some film and uh, a reel and one or two other things um, before you buy something from them. Don't buy any more because they're expensive. Don't buy the reels off eBay if you don't know what you're getting and uh, they're not necessarily going to be cheaper than first call. First call photographic sell these AP style reels for 
eight pounds fifty, I believe. Um, they're not necessarily any cheaper on eBay. Okay, so that's the uh, routine. That's how we're going to get the film out of your cassette onto the reel in the dark tank, ready to develop. Next video uh, is going to be developing. After the next video, you're going to see the first row of negatives. Oh, the excitement is building. Okay, I hope that's been of some interest. And let me know how you're getting on. Um, be prepared to share your uh, images. Really keen to see them. And if people do share them, I will share them with, uh, with everybody in uh, one of the subsequent videos. So I'm very happy to receive... Uh, what uh, copies of what you've done and I'll put them in uh, subsequent videos for other people to see. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.